The first round of the 2021 NFL Draft is over and the pick is in. Despite Aaron Rodgers' attempts to burn the whole NFL down, as Matthew Stafford realized Rodgers could move over to the NFC West, the first night went down without a hitch. With a seventh overall pick, the Detroit Lions drafted offensive tackle Panay Sewell. The man most definitely exhibits that biting kneecaps energy. I'm coming each and every day, ready to run through the wall, ready to do whatever it takes to accomplish my goals and the team goals. And the Lions clearly know they got their guy. Just check out their reaction in the war room. We just couldn't be any more excited uh, than, than we are about Panay, uh, just really stoked. He'll help bolster the offensive line and pass protection, joining a pretty talented crew. It's just easier for me to uh, approach the game because I could go to them and ask them for uh, advice and soak up as much knowledge as possible. So let's learn a little bit more about Panay. Number one, he was born and raised in American Samoa, which consists of five main islands and two coral atolls. A definitely normal word I didn't have to look up. American Samoa's population is about 46.3 thousand. For those of us geographically challenged, it's located in the South Pacific Ocean. Panay was born in a village near the capital of Pago Pago and grew up in a shack with his family on the island, he says. You can hit the whole island probably in a 40 minute drive. So it was real small, life was real simple. And uh, to come from that to where I'm at today, man, it's nothing but a blessing. Number two, he's proud of that heritage. Here he is at the 2018 Polynesian Bowl leading a traditional dance called the haka. imagine the O-line and Dan Campbell and everyone else doing that before every game? Inject it straight into my veins. Number three, he comes from a football family. His father, Gabriel, is a coach and his three brothers play. Always out there with him, whether it was helping him take out uh, football bags for his practice or set up the cones for conditioning for his team there. So uh, my dad ultimately helped me uh, learn the basic knowledge of the game and fundamentals. Nephi is a defensive back for the Utah Utes, Gabriel is a linebacker for the Nevada Wolfpack, and Noah is a linebacker for Oregon. Panay's uncles are also former NFL players. Number four, he won the 2019 Morris Trophy that's presented to the best offensive and defensive linemen in the Pac-12, and won the 2019 Outland Trophy awarded to the best college football interior lineman in the United States. Number five, he apparently grew up a Lions fan. I was a big fan of uh, Calvin Johnson. Uh, Love seeing, loved seeing him go up, get, get the ball, and also the running back they had at the time was Javid Best. Uh, I would just use them and Madden because my, my brother and I would have tournaments and stuff like that, and I love to use the underdogs. Really nailed it with that underdog talk. Already gets the vibe that's going on here. A final shout out to Crackman, proudly and deservingly representing the Lions. Love you, buddy. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Panay. We'll see you this weekend. Yes, sir. Time to get turned. Ah! <laughs> All right, we'll just have to see what's in store. I'm Kelly Rowan. This has been the Row Report with Pride of Detroit.